just let it go and <laughs> edit it. Make, make ourselves a behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, behind the scenes of us discussing <sighs> stuff. But seriously, that's how we met no, his girlfriend. Is. So, like, I know you play the Pokemon one. And I play uh, Pokemon Masters and Pokemon Go. But you don't do Go too much anymore. Well, it was cold. Now that it's warm, I'm going to start playing Go again. Okay. So, we can talk about Pokemon Go and how it changed a lot of things because it got people out doing stuff that they would never have done before. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I play a good amount of mobile games, or I have. Right. I'm I mean, really I don't know what one. game it is that I've, you play, yeah, but I, I, I know played, you play I, a mobile I have, game. I have played play, a bunch uh, of mobile games. Like Tales of Wind. I uh, I like I was playing Galaxy of Heroes for a long time. Until, you did, yeah. Until like, it just it just became too pay to win. And, right. Uh, then I mean, I played Summoner's War for dude, I played almost Summoner's two War years. Too. I, I played, played, I played Summoner's years. War for like a week. I played it for maybe like a few months. And I only did it because of Bobby and Abby. Uh, and then I played Raid Shadow Legends, which everyone on YouTube <laughs> is getting paid by. I know. To for, it's, it's a meme. But here's here's the thing. It is I, a meme. <laughs> here's, by the way, this the thing, the thing is, is, I started not playing. Sponsored. I started playing Raid Shadow Legends before I heard anyone talk about it. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. And I I not only started playing it, I would stopped playing it before I heard anyone on YouTube oh, talk so about it. So you didn't it. get your free gold legend from YouTube? No, they were just they were doing that for starting new accounts. It that what had nothing to do. Oh. With, it literally, it literally had nothing to do with anything that anyone was promoting. You just got that for starting the game. Oh, okay. So it, you didn't have to put any special like no. so and so's username um, from nope. the YouTube channel. Nice. I, it, I've been into I would like, love Fire to. Emblem Heroes. And I've the thing that is, for years. the thing is, Raid Shadow Legends isn't a terrible game. It's it's an okay game. Uh, I just I'm not a huge fan of the interface. Having played games like it, like I played the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game, the mobile game, which was similar to Galaxy Heroes, and I played like some of the Marvel games that were similar. And there's a DC one. Um, right. They all have slightly different interfaces. Um, and Galaxy Heroes to me was the easiest one to to maneuver through. Right. Um, and Raid. Ended up choosing an interface that was closer to the TMNT one, which was the one that I found to be the least intuitive. Gotcha. So it just well, didn't shoot, work when out. I was playing Summers War, I had to have help to even get started. Well, that that and a lot of the newer games that are done in that style um, put a huge amount of emphasis on gear. And the thing is, that was okay in Galaxy of Heroes for me because when the game first started, it was very simple. You get your characters, you level your characters, you up their stars. That's it. Those are the only things you could do. Mm. And then they ended up introducing gear as they went along. And gear and mods and all this other stuff as you went. So I already had all this stuff to start with, and then I started adding stuff onto them. But when you start a game, and it's already all of that, plus like a couple extra gear slots, it's freaking overwhelming. Because oh, yeah. the, the, the game has been built from the ground up for that level of difficulty so even early game i was running into walls where i just couldn't get any further without grinding in weird areas to get gear wow yeah like the game i play uh tales of wind the one i met her on uh i started playing it like when it first dropped it was a game that was uh, in china and it got localized for united they have states games in china. they do they do have games in china Anyways, it got localized. <laughs> and it, it's a really fun game, but they started it off like with the level I think cap. I've, I think being, I've seen like, some ads for Tales of Wind. They have some pretty funny ads. Um, but like they, it started out like level fifty was like the cap, yeah. and now we're at like level ninety five is the cap. Uh, for anybody that would start it now, it probably would suck and be very overwhelming because there's a lot of shit in there that wasn't there in the first place, and. Uh, It'd be almost impossible to catch up to like somebody like me. Like I'm on the top 100 players in the game, and I don't know how anybody could really get there in a reasonable that, amount of time. That's that's a good thing about about Galaxy of Heroes is a lot of the game is still made for back when it had nothing. So you're gonna start with nothing, mm -hmm. and you're gonna play through the game as it was, and you're gonna get introduced to all the new stuff at the same levels and areas that everyone did who were already veterans of the game. 
So you, you will get that. Like, yeah. things only unlock at certain levels. But still, like, say, for instance, like, people around my level that have been playing the whole time, essentially, mm-hmm. whenever new stuff comes out, we just do it. And we're already basically, <coughs> just, we're just able to walk through it all. Yeah. We're already, like, Well, that's how it was out. with Summoner's Wars, like, whenever they would do their, their monthly events or whatever, like, Abium... It's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of the time-sensitive stuff yeah. in mobile games. So, like... Things when they when they run like limited events in Galaxy Heroes where you have like a week to finish this area to get this new character, mm. and, but they have weird requirements like you have to use this faction. And I was like, I haven't ground that faction. I don't have anything in that faction, so I have to grind up all new characters and try and get this whole thing done in a week. And at the end of the week, I'm I'm close, but I'm not quite there. And then the event ends, and I have to wait six months for it to come back. Right. right? Well, and that's what I was saying. In and Summoner's War, it was the same way. It was like they give you like thirty days to complete certain things, and like Abby and Bobby would be up talking to me about it. It's like, oh yeah, I'm done. I've been done for I've been done for like three or four days. I'm like, I'm only like two sections into this like five section freaking event. I how? Yeah. Yeah. You know that, and I don't I like. I found I found that stuff difficult enough when I was working at Hertz. Right. When I had a bunch of time on my hands. Now that I'm I'm working as much as I am, I do not have time for for that kind. I of definitely thing. don't have time because so. between the two jobs that I three jobs that I run, I'm very rarely home. Like yeah, I spend very little time in my house anymore. So like, what's cool about the game that I've been playing, the Tales of Wind game? So like you can get married to somebody in the game, me like anybody. You can get gay married to if you want to. Are are you, are you married to your girlfriend? Yeah, that's how I met her. Like, really? Yeah, I met, like we uh, got married together on the game, just like on a whim, and then we started talking and really liked each other. It was just cool. Is it is it like Sao where you share inventories? You don't share inventories. You do share a farm and stuff, and you can decorate it and shit. That was um, that was that was, my, days that, that, was so busy. that was my favorite weird thing that they that they completely forgot about in Sword Art was they talk about how like Asuna talks about how romantic it is to you know share inventories uh-huh. and then in Sao two they talk about how when you convert from one game to another you lose your inventory and Kirito is going to go convert from you know uh, Alfheim Online to Gungale and they're like you're going to lose all your stuff and he's like. All his stuff is in a shared inventory. Also, I can just hold it until it gets back. No, but she's in the game. Other game. No, she never went over. Yes, she did. No. Huh? There's a there's a different girl in the other game. Ah. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. The first they're, they're not. They're not. It's a, it's I not like, a romantic I like girl. The, it's just okay, so another I have, girl. And wait, Gun- I'm talking. Are you are we talking about Gun Gale? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant that he lost his inventory when he goes to the no. Fairy when, he, when, he, game. when he goes when he goes from Alfheim Online, which is the fairy game, oh, okay. into Gungale, they make uh, a big deal out of yeah, the fact that like he's going or whatever, right? Huh? huh? Sinon? Yeah, yeah. She's cool. But, yeah, I, they, I, they, I they make the big funny. deal about how he's going to lose his inventory. It's like his inventory is sitting in in freaking Asuna's inventory. Yeah, they're I, married. So game. it's funny. I think it's funny that uh, in Gungale, like when he first goes in, everybody thinks he's a girl. That's, that's yeah. pretty funny. <laughs> so, what I was trying to get at, though... I think um, I'm a girl. <laughs> it's really cool. Like, you know how you said you don't have time to really play mobile games that much or anymore? Yeah. Uh, so, it's cool about this game. If you're, like, married to somebody, you, they can... If you just, like, l- turn your game on and you're on, you're logged in, your spouse can just, like, grab you and just take you to do everything. You don't have to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. That's how so, he gets it. Like sometimes he doesn't always have time because he's at work or at school. Yeah, she it's, does it. So for that's him. how you stay in the top one hundred. Yeah, no, she no. We sometimes like she'll fall asleep or something. I'll go on and I, like we both have like an extra phone too, and we'll log each other on on it <laughs> and go do stuff. Like it just finishes everything. Uh, yeah, I'll like put the game on, and she'll take me through like all these dungeons and shit that you have to do daily. And it, I don't necessarily have to play the game. Yeah, what he does to interact with his girlfriend. I do play it. I like the game, and it's. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not saying what, you don't the, like the game. What style and format of game is it? Uh, it's an MMO, obviously. Is uh, it like an action MMO? Like, do you like actually 
you fight, fight or is it like turn based or no? You you like you fight stuff. It's action. It's pretty fun. Because that that was one thing I liked about a well, we can uh, throw, you want to throw a trailer? Uh, we can throw yeah, a trailer. I, uh, that was one thing I liked about Eternium. Like I don't know if you guys got Hold into up. Eternium at all. Um, but I liked that game, and I keep considering going back to that game. But it's like a grind fest, and it's like it's like kind of like a it's kind of like a like a Diablo clone. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. It was it was fun. Um, but playing playing certain things was obviously better than others. Yeah. Um, the most powerful class in the game because they only had three classes uh, the hunter is just broken because um, the certain abilities that it has like uh, smoke bomb made everything dumb mm-hmm. uh, so anytime you got into a bad situation what's you the just, name of you it? Just smoke Tales bomb. of Wind see I think this game is actually pretty balanced there's mm-hmm. only like one class that's necessarily annoying but like the mage should be that good because yeah. it has a teleport. Mm-hmm. The problem is the AI is programmed to auto find you. Other tails. So the smoke bomb gives them zero vision, so they can't attack you. The teleport, they still have all their vision, so it doesn't matter where you teleport. They just go from attacking where they were to attacking you again. <laughs> so it, it doesn't save you. Yeah. Yeah, there's one class in this game that uh, is just kind of a wall. And it really is upsetting. And unless you're like two classes in the game, you probably aren't going to kill it. So What the, classes? Uh, there's like... At this point, there are nine classes. There's five base classes, and then there's an overclass above that. Like, like after prestige? You, yeah, after you hit like level 50, I think. Yeah, okay. that's that's the game. There's so I'm gonna, game. I'm gonna I don't there's not really a trailer, I don't think. You'd probably like it, it's very anime y. Anyway. Um Well what's what's the most powerful class in the game? Uh, that's a good question. It's really debatable. What are the most powerful classes in the game? Like, which ones are uh, obviously worse? I don't think any of them are necessarily bad. I think uh, priest is bad if you're trying to uh, play by yourself or if you don't want to play with people. Okay, what's what's the best solo in class? Then? Um, Azura, so one of the ninjas, mm-hmm. or um, you could play one of the paladin, paladin or berserker, the warrior class. Yeah, that, that's. Showing the classes. Yeah, I play Azura. And that's all based around like doing crit damage to everything. And then uh, those two classes have high attack too. Frost Weaver and Azura do the most damage, pretty much. So what? What's Paladin do? It's a wall. It's a wall. It, it has high defense. Just super tank. Yeah. Uh, it, not good damage output. Uh, it has better damage output than the other class, Berserker, which is the same. It's part of so Warrior. So it. So five I'm, base I'm, I'm classes. seeing. I'm seeing dual classes. Yeah, five base classes. All of them promote to t- two choices. So. So there's ten it, total classes. Except for one, only has one. Which one has one? The Summoner class. Okay. They added that later in the game, and they only added a uh, one over class for it. Okay. Um, so, both the warriors are tanks. Yeah, but, uh, I'd say Paladin does more damage, Berserker is, uh, more annoying. Has, it has more defense, and it has, like, a move that, uh, can reflect damage to anything that hits it for a little bit. Okay. So, so like, say I attack... So which which attack. one of the two would be better for soloing, and then, a, a, like, if I run into someone, they'd find useful to have around? Any of them, really. I, you could get a I, I, you could get away with playing any of them. That's pretty balanced that way. I mean, it. Are you what? What are your goals? Like, if you were trying gonna play the game, like, did you? Are you want to do PvP? You want to do just uh, play by yourself, play with others, help others? Like, what? 
I gain satisfaction by watching the health bars of things go down. Okay, then, um, so you don't want to be a healer. You probably could play a ninja class or a mage class. Uh, the ninja classes are like glass cannons. So they do a shit ton of damage, but they will die pretty fast. Okay. That's one of the class, that's the class I play. If what's, you want to play it, you can. Huh? I got my game pulled up if you want to play well, what's, it. Now. What's the main difference between the two ninja classes? Uh, the, so... The base class is Assassin, it promotes to Ninja or Asura. Uh, ninja is more PvP based, and Asura is more PvE based. So one one's more crowd control and one's single target damage? Yep. Pretty much. And the one I play is more crowd control. <laughs> There's good stuff about episode one. <laughs> there, there is. I don't think there's. I don't think there's close to eighteen minutes worth of good stuff about oh. Star Wars Episode One. No. You know we're reporting, right? I know. Okay. All right. Natalie Portman was in Star Wars Episode One, so that was a good thing. But I couldn't well, talk about it for eighteen minutes. Well, uh, well, maybe. Yeah. Do you want to try it, Matt? I'm thinking about downloading it right now. Go for it. If you join my server, I can help you. Okay, which server are you on? Uh, EST 11, 4, or 13. They merged some of the servers. But there's also like a hundred of them. How do I choose my server? Whenever you get on the game, you can pick before you make a character. You can have characters on multiple servers if you want. So, the, uh, the ninja... The mm -hmm. one that's good at, at single target damage wouldn't be great for doing crowd control. I mean, you it, it'll work. It's could just it, could it crowd control enough to solo? Through yeah, the game? yeah. Anything you can play anything that you want. It's more based on like how you. It's based on what's most comfortable for you, really. The thing that I end up being most comfortable with. So this is how I play Eternium too. Mm -hmm. I end up focusing on ways to kill the boss. Of, of any level as fast as possible so the thing that ends up killing me most often is just the regular mobs okay because they crowd me regular mobs you don't really have to worry about too much in this like once you get higher and higher they'll just kind of die like really fast uh, there's like usually some like really shitty monsters in it and then you'll it'll be grouped up with like one like okay monster that'll take a few hits to die. And then uh, there's a maybe one or two bosses per map. It goes by really quickly, but hell, if you get through the tutorial, I can already get you in my party and I can help you out. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like three games I've played before. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of a similar. cross between uh reminds me of Call of Juarez. Yeah. Yeah. And kind of a mix between like that game and and Red Dead and yeah. Red looks, Dead it Zombies. Looks, it looks like Left 4 Dead. But it's based in the Midwest in the Western not Midwest, in the Western time, so it's eighteen eighteen nineties. Looks like it has zombies. Yeah, it's definitely really what, witchcraft okay. heavy. Yeah, Left like 4 it, Dead. It, looks, it does look like that Left 4 Dead. It looks like Left 4 Dead because of like a lot of the like some of the things that they throw that are grenade type weapons are like non traditional grenade type weapons. So it's like you know the bile and shit. And they have three player uh, maps, I guess instead of four players. But yeah, that's basically. Yeah, it looks interesting, but what's it on? I think it's PlayStation, yeah. Because I was talking to Nick about starting to stream yeah. a game because I would like to start streaming, but... I don't want to just like. He's like, you can just stream straight from your YouTube off of your PS4. I'm like, 
Wait, what do you mean? So, if you have your YouTube hooked up to your account on your PS4, mm -hmm. and you hit the share, mm -hmm. you can live stream mm -hmm. straight from your PS4 without having another device hooked up. Yep. And apparently there's possibly a way to edit so you can edit. But I don't want to live stream all the time. I want to be able to do... I want to be able to record myself doing videos well, of okay. things are and then edit them and then post them. Like, oh, are you trying to make gameplay stuff? Yeah. I've done some of those. I could probably well, help you out with that. Yeah, you could, you could make the live streams and then take the files that end up on YouTube and edit them down to whatever you want them to be and repost them. Right. Which is fine. Because I can edit that through what? YouTube Studio, right? You can't edit videos through YouTube Studio. You can just change like titles and shit. Okay. Uh, there's there's a lot of different programs to edit videos. You though. can use the stuff I showed you that one night. Yeah, I you just need to get that one program, that video editor from from you. Yeah, Sony Vegas. But I would also need I need to clean off my laptop. I mean, I could do it all on this laptop. I just don't have a lot of memory space on this laptop. I'd like to get a bigger hard drive on there. Um, Which I might talk to Nick and Emily so what, about. But what what game are you going to want to stream? Well, for me, it's going to be mainly sports stuff and racing games. That does not have a huge demographic at all. Just B letting you know. BS. No, nobody wants to watch people play sports games. Um, wrong? You want to watch people play sports games. Yeah, why would you do that? I, I know people that have put on sports games, put the computers on to fight each themselves, so you're watching, like, football or something instead of having football on, you know? So, But watching somebody else This do guy that does mainly racing good. stuff? Racing games I could see because there's a lot of different kinds of racing like, games. Like, especially Rex racing Fest games, I get is that. really I good. I don't count that as sports. These guys here are really goofy. They have a really cool podcast. Wow. <laughs> Those guys are us. Yeah, look at, look at those <laughs> views. Look at all those views. Um, but uh, we need to figure out a way to fix that. Yeah. By the way, uh, I saw I saw an email earlier. Uh, YouTube. This guy here sent me about my analytics, like yeah. just for my YouTube channel, and it says that I gained 15 subscribers, got 29,000 views in the last month, and got 2,753 minutes watched. Off of that one second video. <laughs> so with this guy here, he does he does Madden and and uh, MLB the Show, and he's got over a million subscribers, and he gets like. What you need to do is you need to move that one video. To to. <laughs> to, <laughs> to the that's it's, it's like, I posted a thing on that channel. I know, but if you move that one video. I wish it worked. And I wish like this that. guy didn't get you in trouble repost, for post. You should repost that one video. I wish this guy People didn't get in trouble for what he did and he did more, does more videos with guns. This this guy is cool. People have ripped my video off of YouTube and reposted it, and they got like way less views, but they still got like fifty thousand. And that's the thing. We could use some of that. Yeah, but I don't want to make it look unprofessional. And then there's this. Then there's this d bag. Yeah. Yeah. He actually has stuff up. Yeah, he does. Dude, look up my stuff. You gonna cringe? Not really. Oh, let's then there's it. these guys, you man. See? I c these guys were great. I don't know why he took it down. Did he take all of it down? I, I don't know. I don't like it. It's not there. Right. So he obviously took everything down. You guys want to see a, a music video I made with my friend? Oh my god. No? It's kind of funny. And this M guy. Music videos you show me are like. Hit no, it's man. something I made. I don't. It's a song oh. I made. And this, this is it's really bad. good because this guy's a wrestler <laughs> and he plays games, but he brings other wrestlers on to play with him. Nice. <laughs> it's really, really cool though because. None of the wrestlers, since they're not allowed to break kayfabe, they made up all different names for themselves. <laughs> to break what? Kayfabe. They can't break their character. They can't use their real names if they're using. If they have. If they're in public. 
So because w, uh, WWE allows him to run this channel under his name, Xavier Woods, because that's his name, but that's also his wrestling name. But some of the other wrestlers who wrestle under names that aren't them, mm -hmm. like, uh, for instance, Daniel Bryan, his real name is Brian Danielson. Mm -hmm. So when he comes on here, he actually has a different, completely made-up name that they call him. It's like his call sign or whatever, so it's just like a little nickname. I don't know what it is. And then there's another guy. Um, he doesn't even wrestle for WWE anymore, but they call him Mighty Mouse because he's a short, really short flyer in wrestling, so they call him Mighty Mouse. There That's was a guy it. who had that nickname in WWE while yeah. I watched, wasn't there? Uh, maybe. But it's a really cool channel. I haven't watched him in a long time, though, because he hasn't done anything that has interested me in a while. I mean, he, he did the Final Fantasy VII remake, because right now they're doing the uh, um, the free demo, so they gave us all a free demo. I could play it if I wanted to, but I don't want to touch it until the game comes out, because I don't want to get excited about it being here and only play for... Do you, do you at least want to see whether or not you're going to like the gameplay? I have seen the gameplay. I, I, but have you done the gameplay? No, but felt I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to like... I know the gameplay? I already <laughs> know I'm not going to like the gameplay, but... It's still Final Fantasy VII, so I'll still play it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What are we waiting for? He started moving shit. Oh, shit. You keep moving the thing. What are you trying to do? Play a video. Solitaire. So you wouldn't have any mm -hmm. spikes. We should buy a Devin a pack of solitaire. Sort of nervous jiggling the table. You really notice the difference your when you're doing your edit. No, a pack of solitaire is not really optional. So we need to have a set of what? headphones. Uh, for you to <laughs> you, monitor your you mean cards? Any headphones with a three and a half millimeter no. jack will work. What do you mean? So you can use a set of like solitaire cards. Yeah. If you have them yeah. The so if you want to upgrade pack of those, what? A pack of what? A pack of what? You can use the M20. A pack of solitaire. These are headphones, but we so really like. After Dragon Ball, so the, the, the Dragon Ball Evolution episode drops, is that going to be our new joke? <laughs> <laughs> and I would monitor my voice. Because I feel like we're going to need a new joke oh, after shit, that episode I forgot, drops. I forgot to say anything about that. I was waiting! Like, there was like three different times I expected you to say oh, something really? about Dragon yeah. Ball Evolution. And then I brought up uh, Dr. Seuss, which was a little funny. But then I also just gave two, like, legitimate recommendations. Yeah. Yeah, I told you guys I read just like not. Yeah, I have fun. I have a short attention span. That's why I hardly ever play RPGs anymore. Right, so let's do a quick run through. And that's why I read prices. poem books. Our favorite boomer. So, but when I read Rome, poem books, I read the yes, whole thing in like one sitting because I was addicted to it. What's the next song you have played? Is just here, I can skip it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids. Christian truth. Is this from the same guys that did the street, do the one about hip hop beat? So I gave my urban kick. My rhymes are flying, my beats are sick, my crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ Did he seriously? <laughs> Please tell me you didn't have anything to do with these. No. No. I wish. Yeah. This video has 62 million views. I can't believe they keep <laughs> saying that! How old is this video? Uh, the dude in the background is killing me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is absolutely killing me. That's it? Yeah, that was Only that was seven it. years ago? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do I go back to the... There was another video I wanted to play. Uh, so just play it. I know, but it was on the recommended, and now I have to go find it again. Your videos are weird. They're funny, though. Hi, my name is Carl. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you this already? Yes! I don't think I should change I'm so though. mad at you. <laughs> I don't need friends. They disappoint me. 
You could stop at five or six doors, or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big storm coming. The fuck was that? <laughs> You see? You see why I was so mad at him? What the fuck was that? Hey, what's up? How's that party the other night? It was alright. What? There was this guy, and he's with his girlfriend, and he's trying to get to do something that she didn't want to do. So what did you do about it? I didn't do anything. Whoa. What? Guys, don't be like my friend here who didn't do anything. Not doing anything is part of the problem. I don't get it. Isn't that just a real commercial? Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> that actually seems just like a real commercial. Is there any sound? Yeah. I love work for treasures. <laughs> <laughs> I love refrigerators. Can I, can I keep playing videos? Okay, okay, go ahead, dude. Okay, that's okay. freaking cool. hilarious. Joel's barbecue foot massage. Joel's barbecue foot massage. Barbecue and foot massage. Joel's good ass I'm making a playlist as we're watching these of just stuff to play consecutively. You're making an important video playlist? Yeah. <clears throat> My name is Joao. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Together we can stop it. Please spread the word. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Did you miss that? <laughs> I'm doing work. <laughs> you, you gotta. You, you, I think you need to hear that one. Wait for mute your phone really quick. None of that matters. Matters to me. Alright, go for it. Listen, this is pretty <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Hello, my name is Joao. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. <laughs> Together we can stop this. Please spread the word. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> you got that? You got that, Tim? Every 60 <laughs> seconds, a minute passes in Africa. Together we can stop this. Together we can stop this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>